Hello everybody, I'm Nycat. Today we are playing Minecraft City Construction Challenge. It's been a while since we were here. And we got mobs. Four arrows, really? Kind of spawning all around us here. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so, oh, no, it's a cow. That, that was a zombie. Um, so it's been a while since we've been over in, uh, this world, and I thought today maybe we'll do some of this. Uh, I still want to do the kind of farm area over here. Uh, I envision us using a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, wheat for those hay bales. So, we're going to have to get a ton of it. And I think we're going to have to prob... I think what we're going to do is flatten out some of this, too. Uh, I do have another shovel. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to clear out most of this level. All the way through here. And then maybe we'll leave that little hill over there. <clears throat> but I'd like to get rid of most of this level, just because it's kind of in the way. Um, I'd like to put part of the field over here, and if we do that with a bit of a lip somewhere, then we're going to have to kind of work around that to avoid having ourselves or mobs kind of flattening everything. Um, I might do some of this off camera. Watching somebody dig up dirt probably isn't the most exciting thing. Um, but we do have some things to talk about. There's been some interesting stuff going on this week. E3 was going on. That was... Uh, what well, there are sound settings at? Take that down to 10. Um, some interesting stuff going on. E3 was this week. There was a, a lot of cool stuff announced there. Obviously, the uh, the PlayStation and the Xbox had their day. Um, I don't think there's any question at this point who looks like the most attractive console, and that would be, to me at least, the PlayStation 4. I've never owned an Xbox. I don't own an Xbox now. I probably wasn't going to buy an Xbox anyway. Um, not just because of everything that's going on with them currently, but because I like a lot of the things that the PlayStation has. <clears throat> uh, PlayStation Plus looks great. I actually didn't know a lot about it until I started looking into this, because I don't really play on the console. I think the last game I played on console was... Uh, GTA 4. Um, and what else? I also played... Red Dead Redemption, which was amazing, and I was kind of disappointed there wasn't anything announced at E3 regarding that franchise. Because that was one of the best console games, one of the best games I've ever played. Um, so if you've never played Red Dead Redemption, and you have a PlayStation 3, I highly recommend going and finding it, because it is great. Um... Is our inventory full? No. Let's dump some things. Cut down a bunch of trees. We don't need most of that. Let's make... another chest. Uh, I probably don't need the flint or that. <clears throat> Oh, but I will need some wood. Um, <clears throat> although, uh, uh, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox have been getting a lot of press because, you know, they're the new ones, there's the kind of rivalry between them going on about... You know, Microsoft is making a lot of decisions that a lot of people don't like, and uh, the PlayStation is kind of 
you know, the day after Microsoft gets in hot water again, PlayStation or Sony comes out and says, you know, the exact opposite thing. Like, PlayStation says, oh, we're going to have, you know, you can't play uh, used games. You can't lend your games to your friends. And, you know, the next day Sony will come out and say, yeah, you can do that over here. We're not going to do anything about that. Um, or... You know, the Xbox is launching in only these countries, and if you don't live in one of these, you know, 20 or so countries, you can't play the Xbox. It just won't be available to you. It'll be region locked, you can't even do anything with it. And then the next day, Sony comes out and says, Nope, you can do that, or there will be available every country in the world. So, I don't know, it's almost comically bad. Like, it, it's almost... They need to get somebody better on their PR, because it just is abysmal. Every single decision they make is, you know, immediately results in fan uproar. And their biggest competitor, like, that right after them comes out and says the exact opposite thing. So, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what their plan is. Uh, if you read some of the stuff they've been saying... It sounds like what Microsoft is aiming for is basically kicking console players into the kind of situation that PC gamers, which I primarily am, have already been in for years. Which is that uh, you can't lend your games. We, I can't lend my games to anybody. All my games are on Steam. I can't give them to my friend. And that seems to be where Microsoft is going. Where, okay, you want to play the game? Buy the game. Now, oh, I apologize for my cat, if you can hear her. Anytime I close the door, she gets angry and wants in. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I think that's kind of what Microsoft is aiming for, that, you know, consoles have kind of been lagging behind and that you still need a physical disc in order to buy a game, in order to play a game. And it won't be long. Like, it's not unreasonable. It's 2013. Steam has been around for at least, you know, 10 or 11 years. Not in its current form. But it's been around for a long time. And a lot of people in the beginning with Steam really hated Steam. I remember playing... Uh, Counter-Strike and Team Fortress Classic back when I was in college. And Steam was awful. Just absolutely terrible. It was a huge pain that you were forced into using Steam uh, in order to play these games. But over time, they actually built up a decent system. A system that, you know, it's pretty much the second... Th if you're a gamer, it's pretty much the second thing you're going to install on your computer after a web browser. So, I think that's maybe what Microsoft is aiming at, to become the Steam of consoles. But I don't know how much that's going to actually work, because Sony has basically the exact same setup, just without all of the, you know, the ill will that Microsoft has managed to bring upon itself by the way it's gone about things. I think we're going to leave... most of this intact. You know, if, if you listen to what Sony's been saying, they also have a system for console DRM, but it's at the publisher's discretion, and basically what they're talking about is they have a system in place where you could use CD keys, which is, you know, the exact same thing PC players have been using for, I don't know, decades? Since the 90s? At some, like, mid-90s even, maybe? Um, so that's not unusual. That's not anything that anybody's going to get outraged about. By leaving it up to the publisher, Sony's saying, you know, well, you can do it or you don't. And um, it doesn't fall back directly on them. The option's there, but you don't have to do it. And they can also digitally distribute. They already do with PlayStation Plus. So, I don't know. I think maybe 
I think maybe Microsoft, like, back before they announced anything about either console, there was some chatter about how Microsoft and PlayStation, Sony, were kind of in a game of chicken up because there was rumors that both of them would uh, restrict used games. And it was kind of a bet to see who would go first. And it turned out Microsoft did. Sony decided they weren't going to. And now it's going to be interesting to see who actually uh, wins out on that. But I don't think Microsoft is well positioned. I think they've gone around it uh, very poorly so far. But a console lifetime is what, like 10 years? Like, I think the PlayStation 3 uh, is still going to be supported for at least probably, you know, two or three more years. They announced new PlayStation 3 games, new Xbox 360 games at this E3. So that's not going away. Um, and the, uh, you know, the PlayStation 2... It only finished, I think they stopped supporting it or stopped making it, like what, a couple months ago? Like this year? So, and, uh, I mean, just to give you the idea of the longevity of that, uh, FIFA 2014, they're still bringing it out on the PlayStation 2. But I think that's because the PlayStation 2 is still popular in... Um, I guess, like, South America and Africa and things like that, which is, would explain why they're bringing FIFA. So that's interesting. But actually, the, the thing I was going to say way earlier uh, was that instead of either of those consoles, either the Xbox or the PlayStation, I've been taking a look at the Wii again. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of... Um, Nintendo's properties. I'm never I've never been a huge Mario fan. I think the last time I was actually excited about a Mario game was Mario 64, which was mind-blowing at the time. Um But beyond that, I can't say I've been crazy about a Mario game for a long time. Uh Zelda, I used to be really big into, loved Zelda 64, but that was actually the last one, like the very first Zelda 64, the, uh, which one was that? Ocarina of Time? That was a great game. Loved that. Still very nostalgic about that one. But, uh, they also announced some interesting games for, uh, the Wii U. Uh, what was one of them? Bayonetta 2? Is that coming out on Wii U, I think? Like, exclusively? I didn't play the first one, but I have a lot of friends who are huge fans of it. Um, so that might be something that I would be interested in. But also they had... Um, oh, what do they call it? Continuation of the uh, X. X was the game. Uh, a continuation of the Xeno Saga. I think it was Xeno... Either Xeno Gears or Xeno Saga. I think Saga. Because I think Xeno Gears was a Squaresoft game. And this one isn't. But that's going to be on the Wii U. And that looks... Ridiculously cool. Um, standard JRPG where it's kind of a... Uh, a melding of... Magic and... Technology kind of future... You know, it's in the future, but there's an ancient civilization... But and they kind of they're uncovering it, and it's got magic, and there's like dinosaur creatures around, so it looks really neat. And that might be worth getting the Wii U for. Also, I've been watching people play um, Lego City Undercover. That looks like a lot of fun. That's on the Wii U. Uh, I recently actually just bought the uh, the Lord of the Rings on PC, the Lego Lord of the Rings based on how fun uh, Lego City Undercover looked. Plus it was on sale. It was like five bucks on Steam. Um, 
That's actually, oh yeah, five bucks on Steam. That's one of the things that maybe Microsoft might actually make a killing on with their, their DRM thing is if they get cheaper games, because that's one of the reasons you can get cheaper games on the PC now. Uh, you know, everything used to be <clears throat> 60 bucks, 50 bucks. Uh, but generally they're cheaper now because the used game market for PCs is basically dead. So they can actually charge less for the games because they can guarantee sales. So if Microsoft can actually accomplish that, that will be interesting. And I don't think that, you know, if that is their plan, and it seems like that's what they're at least saying their plan is, to move towards digital distribution or a digital uh, console gaming, that's not a bad idea. If they can actually pull that off and they haven't alienated too many people and they actually get the prices down, that might actually revive the Xbox from whatever, you know, situation it's currently got itself into. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really interested to see where this all goes. All right, so, got my E3 ramble out of the way. Um, Final Fantasy XIV just went into its next beta phase. Uh, so when I'm done here, I think I'm going to go play around with that. Check out the changes they've made. Uh, I have a friend who's in it, and he says that uh, it looks amazing now. There was a lot of problems before, but he says it looks incredible now. Like, they've fixed a lot of things. Uh, I've talked about this a bit before. One of the big problems was that the, like, the areas you walk around in were very samey. Because, um, like, they made enormous areas for you to move around in, but uh, it was kind of a copy-paste landscape. It would be like, you know, like if uh, you divided a Minecraft world into, well, I guess, chunks, which you do, <clears throat> but you only had, you know, for every biome, you only had six or seven different chunks. And so it was just the same chunks, kind of patchwork repeated all over the place. It would get pretty dull after a while, and that was one of the huge problems with uh, Final Fantasy XIV worlds, was that it all just looked the same after a while. Um, so apparently they fixed that. Hopefully they have. Let's get a couple hoes and go party. Now let's dig up, uh, dig up some of the ground over here. Actually, where are we going to put a house? Maybe we should kind of plot that out first. So I figure we're going to want them kind of near the lake, and we're probably going to... In fact, let's do that right now. Kind of connect these two. Let's do this. Oh, milk. How do I get rid of milk? There we go. All right, perfect. Let's connect uh, this area with this area, <clears throat> and then we'll worry about... Um, do I have a, an axe? I don't. Then we'll worry about where we're going to put the houses. I figure we'll put one, like, here. In that area. And then maybe another one over there. And then kind of around. Won't have a lot of them. Uh, maybe we'll have a bit larger ones than we've been building. Uh, I was here for an axe. There we go. In the future, I think what we're going to do with this series is try to put it out once a week. Um, to be perfectly honest, after a while, 
vanilla Minecraft gets kind of dull for me. But, like, especially when we have such cool things going on, like Feed the Beast or uh, that mod pack that uh, Doom put together. The um, vanilla, after you start playing a lot of the mods, kind of gets a little dull after a while. When you think of all the cool stuff you could be doing over there. But it's still fun to come back to. Okay. Plus I've been playing a lot of scrolls lately. That's a ton of fun. Let's put one over here too. Let's make some more torches. We'll put another house. <clears throat> I, I think... Hmm. This is just a pawn that doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, we'll put another house there. Okay, so everything in the back here is going to become field. Excuse me. Sorry, you had to cough. And I think I'll take a drink. So we need to dig some holes for water. Yeah. So if we put one there, let's get some water. We can go out, whoop, we can go out, what, four from that? There we go. So that'll water all of these. And we're probably going to need a lot of hose. There we go. And... Uh, I should have done this... Before... Where's my pick? Do I have a pick? I do. Let's put some torches on there. <clears throat> that's too high so that, you know, the cows don't jump up on it and crush everything. Sleep real quick. Alright. Um, and so then over here we need to go... We need to get some more water. Put the beef away for a second. Uh, let's stagger it a little bit. So one, two, three four right there there we go oh our hoe broke so you can't even get two of these done with one of them that's a little disappointing uh, we need more water. So, let's go... I guess we're going... One, two, three, four, five. How are we... Off. Oh, okay. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's four, right? Yes. Okay, there we go. Take that one back. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Uh, what I might do, now that I think about it, is swap out these blocks for scarecrow kind of things. Because we actually kind of have stuff we can do that now. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, let's go, let's go grab some pumpkins. Oh, there's a creeper. We're going to ignore him. 
Let's put the beef on our hot bar again. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have... I need to start breeding up these sheep, too. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, and I'd like to do something else with these houses. But I don't know what. Yeah, we'll think about it later. I'm pretty sure we have pumpkins over here. Yes. Yes, that guy right there. Right in the chunk air. Okay. Uh, let's grab some of these. Do these break faster with a... Yeah, they do. There we go. Anything interesting in that chunk air? Been caving over there. Doesn't look... Oh, it's gone. Oh, no! There we go. That should be fine for now. Uh, and we're going to need some wheat. Can we grab some from over here? Oh, that right here. There we go. And replant. There we go. It's all of it. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, kind of scarecrow dude. I'm not sure how we're going to make him, but chances are... How much wheat do we have? We got a lot. Chances are we can probably make the hay bale kind of look like a scarecrow body. Sort of look more so than wood or anything else, at least, I guess. Then I guess we could use torches for his arms. Possibly. Uh, let's make another hoe. Or I guess a few more. I guess as much as we can. Uh, and let's get some water. There we go. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't get any of the other sand from these places, but I may as well grab that one. Uh, hey, Bale, we actually need this thing. <clears throat> Two is probably enough. Okay, <clears throat> so, um, that actually we're going to have to dig up, or pick up, because I think, yeah, okay, so there's the body, let's, oh, that's something we could do, isn't it? So that's what? That's 15, 14, 13, 12. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So we don't actually need torches with these guys. He'll light up the entire patch that he's on. Or should. Oh yeah, right. There we go. Did I go too far? No, that's right. <clears throat> that's a pretty weak scarecrow. Uh, we need to get some arms on that guy. Um, right.
There we go. Okay. Let's slap a couple arms on them. Not bad. He kind of needs a hat. But I don't know what. What could do... for a hat? Um... I think just putting wood on his head would look stupid. But... Yep. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> Can we actually get on... We're gonna destroy... our ground anyway. That just looks weird. <laughs> um... It looks like he's wearing, I don't know, like like a like a light colored fez or a, a turban, kind of, a little bit like a turban. I guess these are gonna be politically incorrect scarecrows. <clears throat> I like it though. Uh, it's nice, it's not in the way, it allows us to light up our field. Brilliant. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna replace all of them with that. Um, you know what, let's plant this and then let's call it a day. And then I will do the rest off camera. So I need as many of these as I can get, let's dump some stuff. There we go. Okay. And we'll just plant the seeds and then that will end here, I think. Oh. Oh, oh. There we go. Um, so yeah, I guess in conclusion for all of the E3 stuff, <clears throat> I don't really know what, <clears throat> sorry, I don't really know what, um, if anything I'm going to get. Um, but they really did manage to give a decent selling pitch, uh, for the PS4 or the Wii. Uh, GTA 5 is going to be on the Wii. Oh, that was the other thing. Final Fantasy 15 is going to be on, or not on the Wii, on the, the PlayStation. Um, <clears throat> GTA 5, uh, Final Fantasy uh, 15 is going to be on the PlayStation. That was actually the reason I bought a PlayStation 3, was because of Final Fantasy 13. To this day, I have not managed to actually complete it. <clears throat> Sorry. Um... When I, I had been in the middle of playing it, and I got about halfway into the game, and then, for whatever reason, I had to stop playing it for a while. I had to walk away for something, I don't remember, I just, I ended up not uh, finishing up that playthrough, and by the time I, oh, come on, really? Holy crap! I only have Stone Sword. Creeper behind me? Nope, but a zombie. Oh, and you. You spawned... literally... right next to me. Do they... what... what the... Three of them? Is this a new thing where they, they call in... reinforcements? I seem to recall... Re uh, crap! I seem to recall reading something about that. Jeez! Okay, you know what? We're just getting out of here. I'll finish up this up later. Um, 
Of course, now I'm low on hunger. Where's my beef? Guess we're eating zombie flesh. And let's just get away from them. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the PS3. I never ended up finishing <clears throat> Final Fantasy XIII because the PlayStation died. That's the end of the story. There we go. <laughs> Uh, but Sony was great about it. I, I, they had amazing customer service at the time. They probably still do, but it was great then. Um, all right. So we're going to end this here. Uh, we have been playing Minecraft City Construction Challenge. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Take care.